All right, so it's settled. We just won't do Thanksgiving this year. I think it's better to just call it off and be safe. Now all I have to do is tell Timmy. No, please. Continue. Hey, bud, what are you doing up? Two street walkers of the night scheming to take away my turkey. Timmy, you can't speak to your mom like that. Sweetie, it's just that it's not safe this year. There are no words in the tongues of elves nor dwarves that can mock my disdain. No turkey. No, no stuffing, no pie. Well, make something different, we'll do like servant turf. No, I neither surf nor turf. This betrayal of turkey shall wane the candy of Halloween. We can't have grandma over and get corona. I do not fear this plague you speak of. Well, you should. On the other side of fear lies greatness. Timmy, we just can't. Where is your spine, sir? Your loins have girded nothing, madam. This promise of spring has turned to winter's wretch. Well, I'm not the one that got him the complete worst of Shakespeare and he was four. We shall do dino nuggies! Sweetie, we can't do dino nuggies anymore. What the fuck, guys? Listen, bud, you kind of OD'd in the dino nuggies last time. You got a little lost in the sauce. I am the sauce. I'm so excited, babe. Same. Now all we have to do is tell Timmy. Yeah, I don't know if I have the strength for that right now. Maybe we'll tell him like next week. No, please. Continue. Timmy, Mama's pregnant. You're gonna have a younger brother or sister. So a fourth member in this house of cards to fall on at shadow puppets in the cave and strut about ceaselessly in this mortal flesh. You'll be the big brother. Well, you'll have a new friend for life. I do not require a companion in my crusade of contempt. You'll learn to take care of them and share. I shall not share with this parasitic leech inside you now. They shall earn their keep and be my squire. You'll have so much to teach them. So I am to be the cavalry spearhead into your parental failures, and the new one will just muck about as some oafish foot soldier. Timmy. At 16, I am emancipating myself and joining the French Foreign Legion as an airborne engineer. You're being a little dramatic. When the show is up and the and stroll, stay backstage. I can't believe you did it twice. Well, to me, sex is natural. You don't just do it to have kids. Intercourse for fun? Are you insane, sir? The Mesopotamia was one of the first. I'm telling you, Jason, these adults are insane. My mother killed my hamster. I'm so sorry for your loss. What was your hamster's name? Bartholomew you chunk is ginger snapped the third. <laughs> Timmy and Jason separate right now. No. What? You hold dominion with your marker and think you can tempt fate? You shut to up. disband this recent fellowship. Fine, then you'll have detention after school. What the fuck? Do you want to go to the principal's office? Like Leonidas at the hot gates, I shall quell your Persian horde. Timmy's cracked at Fortnite. You are in big trouble, mister. Your hatred is but a trinket to my treasure trove of lament. Timmy. Well, you may teach us the beginnings of Mesopotamia, but you teach nothing of achieving glory, you low-class sound. How about suspension? Bring me to the gallows for all to see. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Etch the name Timmy into the sight of my execution, madam. For the blood of my sacrifice shall yield a bitter fruit which you shall choke on. You're just after a little clout. I am the clout! Yeah, that's a dead hamster. He got out of his cage and I was vacuuming. I mean, Timmy's gonna be destroyed. We'll just tell Timmy that he passed away in his sleep. Bartholomew Chungus Ginger Snap the Third. What happened to my friend? He passed away in his sleep, bud. I was vacuuming and he got sucked up. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. No! Bartholomew! My most loyal and valiant friend to be butchered in a vortex of dust. Timmy, it was a mistake. You smooth brain harlequin. Okay, wow. Timmy, you always left him out of his cage. This is what happens. Trumped up charges in this kangaroo court? I shall not hear it. We tried to save Bartholomew. Summon the alchemists and the dark arts wizards. I shall resurrect him. Timmy, death is something that happens forever. I have played Diablo 2 and I am in third grade, sir. I think I could fool death. I'm sorry, Timmy. We'll make it up to you. PS5 and Xbox Series X for Christmas. I don't know about all that. What the fuck, guys? Okay, just calm down, bud. You're getting a little violent here. I awoke and chose violence. Okay, that's the last present. Oh, we gotta take a bite of Santa's cookies to trick Timmy. Oh, okay. You gotta drink some of the milk, too. Trick Timmy into what? Hi, Timmy. Hi, Timmy. What's up? Two whispering heathens of winter's fray. Why are you stealing Santa's cookies? Santa's reindeer got tired, so we asked us to help him. Don't you lie to me! Timmy. Some kind of sick, arcane, Mephistelian joke. He can handle it. He's a big boy now. I, I, I don't think we should do that. Santa isn't technically real. Santa! Cataclysmic revelations on this foul earth! I'm sorry, Timmy. We can still have Christmas, Timmy. This is Timmy at my baseline, right here. Now, now I'm here! Okay, Santa might not be real, Timmy, but the spirit of Christmas, that's real. Y'all trying to clown on me get me fucked up! Timmy. I'm moving out, I've been looking at houses on Zillow.com. Timmy. I'm taking my PC and the cheeses and rolling out of this joint. So that whole naughty or nice list was just a fascist doctrine of control. Well, Timmy, if you start being nice, we can still have Christmas. I am naughty! Mother, 
I have fallen off my scooter and require assistance. Timmy, look at your knee. You're bleeding. The pavement was the victim. I am the victor. That's a pretty bad boo-boo. Just wait right here. Let me get something, okay? Bandage me in silk and I shall ride again. Okay, we have to clean it first. What's that? It's hydrogen peroxide. Oh. It'll disinfect it. Does it hurt? No, no, it won't hurt. Promise? Promise. Oh, okay. Well, maybe just like a little bit. It's kind of cold. I'm sorry, sweetie. I have to do this. The hornets of Hades have descended upon me. I had to, Timmy. I have smelted iron with the titan's touch and forged swords with Chimera's flame. Oh, God. But never felt the basilisk sting like this. It stings a little bit, but it's not that bad. Lay two tokens on my eyes for the very men. Timmy. I'm fading to Elysium. I see Bartholomew. Just had to bring the hamster up. He looks beautiful. Timmy, you're being a little dramatic. I am the drama. Do you want SpongeBob Band-Aid or a Marvel Avengers Band-Aid? SpongeBob Band-Aid, please. Mother! Hi, Timmy. I'm so sorry I'm late. It is 3.30. We agreed upon a 3 o'clock pickup time. I was running errands and there was traffic. You forgot about me. No, I did not forget about you. The sloth and dank rot of this limbo. Well, Timmy, it's like you were the last one. You had Filbert to keep you company. Huh. Yeah, Filbert's not exactly the pinnacle of cerebral simulation, Mom. Huh. Timmy, we can go home now, though. No, you know what? I'll just stay here. You know what? This is my home now. You've made it so, and it shall be my tube. You're not gonna stay here. They have to close the school. Place my organs in the ivory jaws. Timmy. Bury me with Bartholomew in the ornaments of my reign. Again with the hamster. I have consulted with Anubis. He reared his bejeweled jackal-like head at me and proclaimed, Never have I beheld such a lost, forgotten soul. Ever. It couldn't have been that bad. This prison of time. This dungeon of feeling. This couldn't have been that traumatic. I am trauma! How can I make it up to you? You offer terms, I ask for none. We can go get McDonald's. Uh, hold on, okay, dude, okay, okay. Hold on, I specifically ask for no crusts on my sandwich. You're a big boy now, you can eat the crusts. When mommy does it, there are no crusts. Well? You didn't even cut it! Timmy. What am I, some kind of belligerent, ghoulish, syphilitic beggar? Just calm down, bud. That I would wrangle the three-headed hydra, douse the flames of the phoenix, deafened by the banshee's howls, then permit this dry-hardened terrorist into my mouth. It's not that bad. Poseidon himself could not quell this arid desiccation of bread. Well, your playdate Filbert is enjoying his sandwich. Father, Filbert is like a raccoon. He'll eat anything. <sighs> My epitaph here lies to me, death by crust in parental neglect. Well, at least he's not mentioning the hamster. Directly adjacent from Bartholomew's tombstone. Okay, I can give you a Capri Sun to wash things down. One measly Capri Sun? Might as well shoot myself in the face. Okay, I'll give you two Capri Suns to eat the crust. No crust, give me three Capri Suns, and then... No, we're not going to Taco Bell. We are going to Taco Bell! No. The Crunchwrap Supreme shall cure this insult. Now you're just trying to hustle me. I am the hustle! <laughs> oh cool, they have coconut water. Mr. Jeffries. Oh, hi, Timmy. What are you doing here? Well, Timmy, I, uh... Why aren't you in school? I have a life outside of school. Pardon me? Oh, God. A charade! A charlatan before me! A, a mere mortal! Timmy? Fallen from Olympus revealed as some goonish coconut water sipping Santa? Timmy, I really can't talk to students outside of school, so, uh... No, no, we're getting into this one. I deemed you a sacred scholar. Tricked me like some back alley sordid Scoundrel magician! Timmy, I'm still your teacher. You have no power here, sir. You have no power! This is just so bizarre. Yep. What a valuable lesson I learned here today. Trust nothing, betrayal is forever! Timmy, you're just being a little vengeful now. I am vengeance! Timmy, just calm down. So you're here now, then where do you go? Well, I go home. You have a home? What did you think? I just lived at school? Yes, precisely that! No, I go home to my family. And a wife? Yes! That you have sex with?! Okay, bye, Dad. Have fun at school, bud. Hey, little man. That's your son? Uh, yeah, that's my son. So you did it, then. What? You had the sex. What's up? With a woman. Uh, um. How dare you? Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Ah, who's this? Silence, wench. You laid with this harpy. Oh. Uh, okay, kid, that's, that's my wife. Spare me your malcontent. Uh... I will not hear your siren song. In all my eight years, never have I seen such petulance. Such disregard, such decay. All right, motherfucker want the smoke, you gonna get it. Go back to the shadow. Little bro want the smoke. I have toiled with beasts of smoke and fire all my life, sir. Talking shit. I am the smoke. Hey, 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 Timmy, what's going on here? They did the sex. That's gross. Hey, get out of my way, you little baby. Look at those dumb, tiny little hands. The only baby here is you. 
Oh yeah? How's that? Because in 45 seconds you'll be screaming for mommy. I don't think so. Madam, what's your name? Riley. I'm Timmy, what's up? How dare you shame Riley, this tiny-handed princess! Princess? You low-born, acrid slime of the Kraken's Maw! How about I just beat you both up? Riley, we must fight back! Use your words! Be the princess you are! Wait, Elsa from Frozen? Yeah! I am Elsa! I am Frozen, here I stand! Stop it. This tundra of ice will quake your fate. You musty, dusty clown. I'm not musty! Why do you bully the tiny, sir? Who bullies you? Mommy! Huzzah! Okay. The dunes swarmed with heretics. I am merciful to save my men. You are blinded by your fear, forsaken your oaths. You are blinded by your faith, I am loyal to my knights. God wills this crusade, but he has abandoned you. My lord, you ought to be executed at sunrise. Perhaps this is the only way to save you. Tiberius, Ulrich the Black, a friend, my lord, I assure you. And why help me? You have a righteous soul, one to protect the weak and uphold justice. Upon death, this potion transports a soul to another body. Will I remember this life? Only glimmers, but you shall fulfill your purpose in the next. And what is that? A paladin of darkness. A crusade of contempt. And what of my loyal squire Bartholomew's fate? I shall find a way to keep you together. You may die or repent now, and you shall have mercy. What do you choose? Mother! Timmy? I'm trapped in the bathroom! Timmy, you locked the door on yourself. You have to turn the lock and then turn the handle. I can't figure it out! Sweetie, you have to turn the lock. Mother, summon the grenadiers and a battering rat! I need a siege tower, a crossbow, and a dwarven engineer! I can't get all that. Mother, if I'm in here long enough, you may need to supply me with chalky milk under the door through a straw. No. Then I shall dance with death! You're gonna get out of there. I am bound to this porcelain sepulchre of sadness! Just calm down, Timmy. Bartholomew! I shall see you soon, you sweet, furry, angelic muse of my life! Oh my god. Silver cylinder of pain! I demand you open! Timmy, you can't verbally intimidate the doorknob. It's an inanimate object. Oh! Then who is at fault for this imprisonment? You locked yourself in there, Timmy. You trapped us in here, didn't you? You locked us in here, imbecile. You malicious, oafish child. Timmy, don't turn your head in work. I am Timmy. No, I am Timmy. <laughs> I am Timmy. Oh my god, oh my god. Mother, I figured it out. It wasn't that hard. Timmy! Now about that chalking milk! I'm so happy, Mark. Same, Rachel. Rachel and Mark? Hi, Timmy. What happened to Mommy and Daddy? We're still Mommy and Daddy. But then why did you say Rachel and Mark? Well, Timmy, Mommy and Daddy have names. What? Oh, God. So you're Mark and you're Rachel. Those are our names, but you can call us Mom and Dad. Oh, okay. Well, my name's Timmy, but you can call me Tyrannosaurus Marcus Aurelius Jr. No, your name is Timmy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought what we were doing. Just, like, making up names now, like, pretend names. I'm sorry I didn't understand the rules. I thought that's what we were doing. Well, this is what we do. Timmy, this is just how things are. Self-appointed <laughs> suitors to deprave an innocent soul of his nuggies. You've got plenty of nuggies. Not nearly enough, sir. A pair of licentious, squabbling, normy gargoyles. Masquerading with such titles as some holier-than-thou zealot. Timmy, we're your parents, but we're also people. Then why use these distinctive titles? Because you're our child is a term of endearment. I am endeared to no one. Except Bartholomew Chungus, you just have a third. R.I.P. forever and ever, sweet prince. Now you're just being disrespectful. I am disrespect! Hey, Timmy, are you gonna make a valentine for someone? Oh, no, I don't really, like, believe in love, Jason. <laughs> Philbert seems to understand his love language. He's a simple lad. <gasps> oh! Jason, who is that? Oh, that's Gwendolyn. She's new. She actually kind of talks a little bit like you, too. Timmy? Madam? It is a most auspicious day to be beset by the multitude of your grace. Cupid's arrow lies dormant in his quiver, for your fairness alone has stricken me to my core. How about let's just start again? Um, hi. I like you. No, didn't mean to say that. You are the one they call Timmy. Yes, I'm Timmy. Yes. The one who berates people like a screeching rabid parrot. What's up? Charm me with a little verse to seduce me like some bewildered peasant waif. Uh... Now if you'll spare me your breathing, I can go back to designing the schematics for my siege crossbow. You unscrupulous, frumpy, humpy, dumpty, drumstick cherub. Good day, sir. Timmy, are you okay? I... am... in love! Bring about the leeches, sir. A tonic of Bishop Wood and Wormwood shall do me good. Align my humors in the ways of the world. Today's just a checkup. Oh, see, it's just a checkup. Oh, okay, just a checkup? Okay, I actually need a shot. A shot? Oh. I actually need two shots. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, is that bad? No, no, it'll be fine. It'll be over in a few seconds. Um, one, two, three, here we go. Is it gonna hurt? No, no, it won't hurt. Oh, okay. Just, you know, don't look at it. Okay, we'll look. Here we go. And one, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, and that's it. The scorpions of Tartarus have besieged my cell! Oh, Timmy, you're so great. Oh, you lied, you white-coated, disgruntled, abominable necromancer! I'm sorry, Timmy, I had to give you your shots. The Hippocratic Oath says do no harm, but I have been harmed. I didn't breach the Hippocratic Oath. I have ascended to the astral plane! Okay, it couldn't have been that bad. Bartholomew, you have the majesty of all the sages of all time and space! Timmy, I swear that was the worst part. Okay, now you're gonna take your pants off and you're- Oh, it would appear Mother has bestowed far too many snacks for me today. Perhaps someone would like to partake in these fish of gold with me. Oh, Gwendolyn, didn't see you there. Perhaps a treat. Oh, God, don't say it. Milady. Yeah, am I doing something wrong? You would do more by doing less, sir. I am but the student, you are the teacher. For with so little, you have done much to me. A single glance echoed our thousand lives together. Our bond forged through longing and strife. I have no desire to forge a bond with you, you sneaky, snarky, presumptuous was suffocating humdrum chipmunk boy. I seek only to forge iron and despair into mine enemies. I know, trust me, I know. In truth, squealing suitor, I am fond of another. Who? An oracle, a sage of the spirits. The one they call... Filbert. <laughs> I thought you said Filbert. Wait, wait, who is it? Yeah, I said Filbert. Filbert with the glue? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? He's a man who knows what he wants. I am Filbert. No, you're Timmy. Jason, she said my name without chastising me. Oh my god. <gasps> Timmy, how's school? It was a relentless, savage onslaught of drudgery and oblivion. Okay, so not so good. Well, then what happens after grade school? Well, then you go to high school. And then what? And then college. And then what? And then you have a job. And then what? And then you'll, uh, work. And that's it? Well, um... So I'm to be this, like, boorish, droned, wage cuck sir for, like, 50 years and then die? Well, you can get married and have kids. I think not. A dowry of all the blessed spices and Silks of Asia doth not tempt me. What about Gwendolyn? Don't bring up the G word. Timmy, just focus on the good things. Okay, best case scenario, in like a few years, I have a dragon. Hmm. I would name him Braggadocious, Reaper of Skulls. I don't know about a dragon. Maybe like a small dragon? Little dragon. What about like a very mean-spirited lizard? Okay, maybe. Yes! Timmy, there's purpose in life besides looking forward to the next thing. I had a purpose in life. And his name was Bartholomew Chungus Ginger Zap the Third. Okay, so after years of being a salary simp, that won't. Well, then you can retire. And then I'll just die. Well, sweetie, everyone dies. Mommy, what happens when you die? Well, I don't know. You don't know? Well, Timmy, it seems like Philbert and Gwendolyn are official. I am still determined to win her heart, Jason, but the pangs of unrequited love, a jousted splinter of rejection affixed in my cell, an injustice I haven't felt since since I lost my beloved hamster Bartholomew Chungus Ginger Snap the Third. All right, forever, forever and ever, sweet prince. prince. I'm so so sorry, Timmy. How has your grieving process been? <laughs> It's still bad. You fluffy incandescent jewel of the multiverse, what I would give to see you again. Viciously sucked away by mommy's vacuum of death, like some comet gutter dust wave. Wish I had some juice I'd pour it out right now. Timmy. Permit me your scathing remarks, temptress. I am in mourning. Haven't you done enough already? What would you know about loss? Long ago, I too had a loyal companion stolen from me. Who? My goldfish. Her name was Marigold McNuggs Butterscotch the that's a great name. What happened? Marigold became ill, and when things go wrong, I read. What did you read about? Medicinal herbs, enchantment spells, dark magic. I began practicing what I had learned on Marigold. I was desperate to save her. Where did you find all this? I read every Warcraft 3 forum, and some stuff on 4chan. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I never lost hope, but one day Marigold stopped swimming. My father believed that she was dead, so he put her in the toilet to flush her away. Oh, no. I begged him to stop, but the moment that he flushed, Marigold woke up and started swimming. I had resurrected her. But it was too late. Her gorgeous luminescent scales probably ravaged by toxic waste. <laughs> Marigold, why? Both of y'all are highly traumatized. <laughs> Gwendolyn, I am so sorry. So while you are still very annoying, I know your pain and Marigold would want me to help. I know Marigold and Bartholomew accompany each other in Elysium. And one day we shall see them again. It may not have to be that way. What's up? Where is Bartholomew's body? He rests in a mausoleum I constructed in my closet. Well, Marigold's body was lost down the drain, but if Bartholomew's body is still with us, then I believe that all of us together Oh! You believe what? I believe we can bring Bartholomew back. When you say bring him back, you mean like... To life? Yes. Tried it before, it doesn't work. What? 
<gasps> Resurrecting Bartholomew is the first thing that I attempted. Oh, really? First of all, you can't pull off a necromancy by yourself. This is different from necromancy. It's a soul pull, and I did bring Marigold back. Second of all, Marigold was a goldfish. Bartholomew's a hamster. Completely different constitution. No, it's the soul bind with its counterpart that matters, not the subject's anatomy. Well, my closest method was a concoction of infused black henbane and jimson weed. Combined with magic powder and poppy milk? Yes. I've scoured the sacred texts. Deciphered the runes. I even tried to adorn his body with Welch's fruit snacks and Glintstone gummies. I'm shocked that didn't work. Damn you, death! Well, I once guest dungeon mastered an entire D&D campaign over Zoom for fourth graders. Ever missed a play? Don't mess with me, Gwen. Don't call me Gwen, Timmy. Don't give me hope. Why won't you believe in something? Because I can't lose him again! You call yourself a crusader of contempt. But what do you believe in? I learned yesterday that pickles are just cucumbers. What? No, it's true. <gasps> Every hopeful, pure thing in this world turns to wretched ash. Some deceitful, demented adult shatters my innocent reality. You know, we're not the adults, though, Timmy. We're just like you. We'll do it together. Doth we disturb the rest of a furry valiant knight to tempt the fates once more? I know the spells that brought my goldfish marigold back, and Philbert as shaman can commune with the spirit realm with its glue sniffs and reel back Bartholomew's soul. And I'm soul bound to Bartholomew. I can steal my dad's iPhone and Google stuff. Okay, well, that would be very helpful, actually. <sighs> oh, things might get complicated here, Gwendolyn. We go to the same school, I like you, we're gonna do black magic together, you're very medieval, and you're dating my friend Philbert. We got beef. <laughs> Philbert and I are not dating. What's up? We've agreed to just be friends. We realize we're not that compatible. Plus, Philbert is on like another dimensional plane. He has very few earthly desires. But to be honest, Timmy, I mean, you haven't always been the sweetest friend to Philbert. You once called him a raccoon. Philbert, I have belittled you in the past, and I did not appreciate you. I'm sorry. You've always been there for me in your own special kind of Philbert way. Maybe like, do a little sniff, and then we're cool? <gasps> well, sir, then this fellowship hath been rectified. To defy death and summon a loyal companion is our dutiful math. Oh my god, I'm so hyped. A witch, a shaman, a dark paladin, and uh... Kind of like a support class. Sort of like a cleric scout hybrid? Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, I'm a cleric scout. You all realize if we commit to this, we may not come back. The penalty for failing to escape a soul pool is a million years of agony and fire. At least it's not attempt. I never thought I'd make it to the second grade anyways. For Bartholomew. For Bartholomew. For Bartholomew Chunk is Ginger's now the third. And so... Tonight is the night. Our kindred troop forged through fire to save the valiant beloved hamster. Bartholomew Chung is Ginger Snap the Third. The mysterious tides of this mortal strife shall yield to our command. To chance faith. To twist fate. To redeem some hope in this abhorrent adult world. <gasps> we have the full moon. And we have snacks. We do have snacks. <sighs> Ah, let's go through this so we've all drunk the black henbane tea. Bluetooth is on and airdrop enabled on my dad's iPhone. The spirit circle is surrounded by Hallow Leak, Bishop Walton, Milkwood. Check. What is this, a magic onion? I believe in sooth that is a normal onion. Oh, Philbert says it's for good luck. Okay, I'll put it back. Everyone place your sacrifices in the spirit circle. I offer these Flintstone vitamins. Here, everyone take one. Thank you, Jason. Jason, I don't think I have one of these before. Thank you. Mm, strength of the gods. <laughs> ah, it's like candy. Ah. I offer chicken McNuggies. That's perfect. You got the nuggies. They were Bartholomew's favorite. I offer this soul stone prism. Gwendolyn, where'd you get that? Never ask a witch where she acquires her crystals. Yes, milady. I mean, me Gwendolyn. I mean, Mistress Gwendolyn. <coughs> Moving on. Let's keep it going, shall we? Um. Philbert, how'd you get a human skull? Philbert, are you wanted for murder? Yeah, we'll worry about that later. Well, World of Warcraft wiki forum says it'll give him plus 10 dark resistance anyways. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> Such generous offerings, friends. Thank you, truly. We're ready. Let's do this. Gwendolyn, it's your play. I enchant these glue sticks and tape, enrich their essence to ward off hate. Go forth, Sir Philbert, righteously. A blessing of faith and fortitude unto thee. Ascend, Ascend Philbert, Philbert the shaman, shaman, at the helm, and venture to the spirit realm. Portal is open, Vessel Prime. Philbert, now! Do wield those glues and pull that cell! <sighs> oh, oh. He's in. Oh, oh, oh. 
Timmy lead the incantation. By the guild of the hamster. Invoking our might. Through blackest night. Our hallowed light to conjure forth this furry night. To pull his soul our sacred task. To lift the veil of death's mask. And with our last breath and utterance heard. Bring back, back our prince. Bartholomew Chuck is to just have the third. Come on, Philbert, we should have heard that by now. Something's wrong. Little thief of pudding tape and blue. Come, come, come to snatch a soul or two. A crusade of contempt. And what of my loyal squire Bartholomew's fate? I shall find a way to keep you together. Come to snatch a soul or two. <laughs> Sensing a level 80 demonic warlock. Oh my god. Philbert's trapped. These are mine. <laughs> Philbert has located both on you, so. A plague upon you, darkness! I demand you release my sweet Chungus and Philbert! The grip of his vengeance, this crusade of contempt! Fuels these souls to their lament. <gasps> this is too dangerous. I'm losing them, Timmy. I, I can't commune with Silver. Timmy, you're gonna lose them both. No one's gonna die today. You have to fight back. <gasps> I'm looking through the forums. There's nothing here. All my screaming has been in vain. Timmy, instead of screaming, you have to let go. I can't just let go. My disdain is my strength. Your hatred only fuels this warlock. You can't berate and force this soul-pulled bond. You have to accept. accept Except I can't control everything. And that we're here to help you. Like we said, we'll do this together. <laughs> the Soulbound Sage spell. Right, okay. Yes, Timmy, now! I endow the spirit to my own too! Here we go again. Um. I endow this spirit! That was good. I endow this spirit to my own too! That was okay. Maybe try with a little more like vulnerable vibe. Maybe try with a little more like acceptance. Like, like think of your love to free Bartholomew. <sighs> think of Bartholomew. I endow this spirit to mine own. To forge a bond through all the sages. Two kindred spirits through the ages. Through crimson screams of hellish fray. Repelled from death and mortal decay. Dearest destiny, I conjure resplendence unto thee, and fetch the soulbound back to me. Timmy, it's working. Timmy, keep doing it. Just stay in that place of acceptance. I'm just letting go. I am an all-accepting vessel. <gasps> Leave me be, tiny tape-faced minion. What fate will imprison these souls in my dominion? The warlock's disrupting the spirit field. He's trying to suck us all in. The more the merrier. Oh, God. I'll take all your souls. Nobody has to pinpoint this warlock's weakness. But you must find the Soul Passage Hex to defeat this dark entity. Oh, Philbert. He's thwarted Philbert's telepathic communication to me. Oh, God. Wait, Gwendolyn, tell Philbert to airdrop me the Hex phrase. Philbert, if you can hear me, you must airdrop the Hex phrase to Jason's dad's iPhone. Please let there be Wi-Fi in the spirit realm. I'm not like you. I'm not just a ball of vengeance and hatred. I know many beautiful things. Like love. And friendship. And I trust that my friends will help me. Your void of filth, repugnant slime. I know what the sex is. <laughs> Shaman Filbert of the astral plane, return to your mortal form again. <laughs> Feel
Philbert! 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 You made it! You mystical, oh. magical man! Oh my god! Thank <laughs> heaven! Oh my god! Oh my god! You are the best shaman ever! Oh! <sighs> Bartholomew? Bartholomew would like to say something. Bartholomew, it is an honor, sir. You amaze me, Bartholomew. We, we had to bring you back. We, we had to bring you back. It's kind of a happy ending. It's so funny, I just found out on Google that sometimes hamsters, they hibernate for a long time and they just kind of appear dead and... We brought him back. We brought him back. No, no, we brought him back. Yeah, let's go with that. We brought him back. Huzzah! 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 